Hey there riders, Motojourno Chris here, and the other day I covered the big update to the 2022 Yamaha YZ125, so now I thought I'd cover its bigger sibling, the YZ250, which receives a similar but not as expansive update for the new year model. The 2022 Yamaha YZ250 is already available, priced at $12,099 out the door here in Australia for the Team Yamaha Blue, while the Monster Energy Yamaha Racing Edition or SP version adds another $100 to that figure. In the US, the YZ250 will start at $7,799 MSRP for the Blue version and also became available in July. Where a big aspect of the YZ125 was a major engine update, the YZ250's liquid-cooled Yamaha power valve system 249cc two-stroke continues in this model, but does benefit from the straight intake design seen on the YZ125, which should improve the feeling of low RPM power. Ensuring great control is the Hitachi Astomo Keihan PWK38S, carb as seen on the 125, including a power jet and throttle position sensor, with a 5-speed close ratio transmission fitted. It is also worth mentioning that the clutch control system remains cable operated with no hydraulic clutch system yet, however a work style cable adjuster is fitted making for easy adjustment on the run. Fuel capacity is 8 litres. The fully adjustable KYB suspension system found at both ends has also been updated with the front running the speed sensitive system and the shock featuring the Kashima friction reducing coating on the internals with both receiving revised damping settings to further polish cornering and bump absorption performance. Travel was 300 on the front and 315 mils on the rear with no note of that changing. A big update on the YZ125 is to the brakes, which are mirrored on the YZ250, running the 270mm front rotor with a more rigid front caliper and larger pistons, while pad contact increases by 30% combined with a higher friction pad material which should offer significantly improved performance as a result. The previous front rotor for comparison was a 250mm unit. As on the YZ125, the 245mm outgoing rotor is replaced by a 240mm unit, which reduces unsprung weight without sacrificing any braking power according to Yamaha. Both rotors are wave units. The existing forged aluminium semi double cradle frame continues, as does a removable aluminium subframe of square section tubing, which keeps weight down. Ergonomics have also been improved with the narrow seat even flatter alongside slimmer radiator shrouds which alongside well integrated bodywork panels allows for easy movement around the bike. Also adjustable are the handlebars with two clamp positions offering two different places for those handlebars. Also new is a lightweight rear sprocket as well as a lightweight chain with a competitive performance top of mind. New graphics are embedded, helping improve longevity and ensure the rigors of riding and racing don't prematurely damage them, while Dunlop Geomax MX-33 tyres will be standard fitment. We'll have to assume the rims haven't changed, with an 80 by 121 inch front and a 100 by 90 19 inch rear tyre as far as the sizings go. Weight was 103 kilos wet with a 970mm seat height and 360mm of ground clearance, but I've not yet seen a full spec sheet as to whether there's any changes here, perhaps to the weight with the other updates we're seeing. So the new YZ250 is already available, as I said, in both Australia and the US, starting at $12,099 here in Australia out the door, or for a 7,799 MSRP in the US, both of those are the Team Yamaha Blue colour scheme. That's a $50 increase over the 2021 model here in Oz, however it's worth noting the previous version has been offered with a free race kit, including a launch master system, GYTR by HGS muffler and exhaust, as well as a blue 50 tooth alloy sprocket to sweeten that deal. So what do you think of the updates to the 2022 Yamaha YZ250? Let me know in the comments and as always thanks for watching and stay safe out there.